Hi everyone, so I'm back again today with another video. I just want to let you guys all know out there that I do film more than one video a day. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet, but I am a full-time mother and on top of that I just graduated from college so I'm looking for work and taking care of my daughter at the same time so I am pretty busy and I do like to film as much as I can when I can so I do film more than one video a day if I have the opportunity so I hope that you guys all understand and that is why I'm wearing the same hair makeup and clothing that I am in other videos so I did just film my April favorites video for you guys if you haven't seen that yet I will have it linked down below go check it out it is the video that I posted on Wednesday this video will be posted on Friday and another question that you might have is why is this video titled my nighttime skincare routine and not foundation friday because it is friday well the reason behind that is because even though i did want to have that series on my channel i have been getting a lot of requests from you guys for other videos so rather than just filming reviews on foundations just because it's part of a series i want to record videos for you guys that you request. So I have been getting requests on certain eye tutorials and my skincare routine, things like that. So as long as you guys keep the request coming, I will just be filming those. I will be reviewing foundations if there are new ones out on the market or if you guys request a review on a foundation. Other than that, I thought that I would just, like I said, film videos as the requests come because I do want to film things that you guys want to see. So now that I got all of that away, today's video is going to be my nighttime skincare routine. I did get a few requests on filming a skincare routine video for you guys. I posted a video where it was a get ready with me or one of the videos where I had no makeup on and I got a lot of wonderful comments saying that you guys really think that I have great skin and that you're interested in seeing what kinds of products that I use. This is going to be my nighttime routine. I will film my daytime routine if you guys are interested in another video. I thought that I would concentrate on this video because on this routine because this is the time where I do use more products on my face. So let's just start off by talking about products that you cannot buy on the skincare market. I want to just quickly address the habit of drinking lots of water. Water is extremely important. It helps flush out all the toxins from your body. It is so important that you drink the recommended amount of water a day. I Water is just one of my favorite things to drink, so I have developed that habit from a young age and I just continue to do it. It is something that is natural to me. I drink water all day. I notice on days that I don't drink water, my skin feels dry. I'm not sure if that makes sense to you. I do have oily skin, but I notice that when I am not hydrating properly, I do feel more dry and my skin just doesn't look as glowy as usual. So number one, drink lots of water. Number two, I have been recently going through kind of a lifestyle change change as far as my body. I want to talk about the fact that what you eat is extremely important for your skin and your body as well. I noticed that when I eat healthy, my skin looks good. When I eat crappy, when I'm eating fast food or greasy foods or things like that, my skin doesn't look good. Or the poor eating, I do break out. So basically all of that was said just because I want to let you guys know if you haven't heard it before water and your eating habits are extremely important on how your skin will look so as long as you are hydrating properly and eating foods that are good for your skin that are good for your body in general you will have the best results naturally so those are very important things that I want to start off by talking about another quick point I want to throw out there <coughs> is that I don't have bad skin. I have never struggled with acne. My main struggle is my pores. I have extremely large pores. So that has always been a struggle for me, trying to find products that minimize pores or primers or things like that that will help that issue. But other than that, I have not struggled with acne. I don't have very many scars. I don't have dark circles. I have just been blessed with pretty good skin. So even though I'm going to share my products with you guys to let you know what I do use, I will say that this is going to vary from person to person because my needs aren't the same as your needs. So 
I just want to tell you guys that as well. I will say that I do have oily skin. If you have not heard me talk about it in my videos before, I do have oily skin. These are just products that I have been loving for the nighttime and I've been using religiously. So I will talk a little bit about them. At the end of the video, I will quickly throw in kind of like a little demo just showing you how I do these things. The products that I'm going to talk about today will not all be featured in that demo video at the end because I also want to talk about masks and certain products that I use on like an every other day basis. So let's just get started. Sorry if I'm rambling, but I feel like those are important things to let you guys know about and um, just keep them in mind. Honestly, just try it out and I can guarantee you that the way you treat the inside of your body and what you put in will reflect out. So that goes with everything. So definitely... Keep that in mind so let's talk about the products the first thing I do at nighttime when I'm getting ready to go to bed I use these these are the equate wipes and they are just the generic brand that you can get from Walmart these come in a large pack of two and each pack contains 60 wipes it's about five dollars very inexpensive very worth it I have tried a lot of face wipes and I just enjoy these more than any of them because the scent isn't too strong, they're soft, they're nice, they're very saturated with the liquid to remove your makeup, so they do a great job of taking out, taking off the base, the majority of the makeup on your face. So I always use these first at night when I'm going to take my makeup off. After I have done that, I will go in and cleanse my skin. Now, I've been loving two different cleansers, and they are by Purity, and this one is by Mario Badesco. So this one is a facial cleansing gel, and then this one is an orange cleansing soap. So I do like both of these. I switch them out back and forth. I don't have a particular preference. I find that I have not found a cleanser that I absolutely love and that I would recommend to you as like a holy grail product. But they're good cleansers, and they get the job done. So I use either one of these at night. Every other night, I go in with my Clarisonic. I'm sure you guys have heard of this and seen this before. I don't see a huge difference from when I use this to when I don't use it, except for the time frame of when I haven't used it for a couple of weeks and then I use it. That first week, it's like my skin looks amazing. But if I'm constantly using this on every night or on an every other day basis, I don't see improvement in the skin it's more like a difference in the first week after I have given it a break I hope that makes sense to you guys I use this every other night and I do use the sensitive skin will have sensitive skin so I always use the sensitive skin brush for this um, machine right here so I use this every other night and I do use it with one of those cleansers that I just mentioned and even though I don't see a difference in my skin like day to day the amount of makeup that comes off of your face after you have already removed your makeup is amazing there are times where I will remove my makeup with a wipe I will wash my face just with my hand and then I'll go in with this and there is so much makeup that comes off on this brush so I just feel like even though I might not be seeing day to day differences just seeing all the makeup that comes off this brush is enough to keep me using this product. After I have gone in and cleansed my face, I will go in with a toner. Now, toners to me are kind of like that step you do because you have to do it. I prefer using this one. This is by Mario Badesco as well, and this is a cucumber cleansing lotion. I've been using this, I mean the bottle's almost gone, so I've been using this pretty religiously and it makes my face feel nice. It does clean off any extra residue that is left on my skin. And it just does what it's supposed to do. What else can I say? It smells really good. So I've been enjoying this. Once I am done toning, I will go in with a serum. This serum is by L'Oreal Youth Code. And this was another product that I purchased off of YouTube influencers out there. And um, I won't say that I saw a crazy difference in my skin with this product. I did see a little bit of minim minimization. <laughs> I did see a little bit of my pores decreasing in size, but temporary decreasing. It wasn't like a continuous thing where I'm like, oh, my pores went from being like a crater to like a tiny little size. No, um, I think that when I use this in the morning before I 
prime or put my foundation on, it does help with pores. So I do like it as far as that, but I do use serums because I'm 25 years old now and I went into a few different skincare stores and into Sephora and they recommend that 25 is a good age to start caring for your skin by adding extra products in such as serums and anti-aging products. So I do use a serum. I've been using this one and it is almost out so I'm in the market for another one. If you have any recommendations, please leave them down below. But this is part of my nighttime skincare routine so I wanted to mention it. After I do that, I go in and moisturize. Now moisturizing for me has been one of the most difficult things at night because I feel like even though I'm extremely oily in the daytime, I am ridiculously dry at night. After I have washed my face and toned and done all this wonderful stuff, I feel like my face is so dry and so tight and so just it doesn't feel good. So I've been searching for a moisturizer that will give me proper moisturization through the night but not leave me oily in the morning. So it's been really hard for me to find one that I do like but I have found a product that I don't really hear people talk about on YouTube and I wanted to share it with you guys because it has been part of my routine four months now and I absolutely love it. The product I want to talk about is by NARS. Now I will say that NARS skincare line is very very expensive but to me this product is worth the money the retail price that you will get at like Sephora, NARS.com or like Nordstrom, wherever they do sell NARS. Um, but I actually got this product off, off of Groupon and this I'm is not sponsored because <laughs> I have like two weeks on YouTube and I haven't been contacted by any companies. But I want to talk about Groupon because it just goes to show that this is another product that I found on there and I got a great deal on and it's just such a good product. So this product retails for $75 at stores where NARS is carried. I got this off of Groupon for $30. It is 1.7 ounces and you just need a little pea size amount for your entire face. I definitely recommend checking Groupon because I'm telling you guys it is such a good site to find products like this on. Now this product is aimed towards dry to extremely dry skins. So I was very hesitant to try it because I am oily but like I just told you guys I feel so dry at night that I'm just willing to try products that are aimed for dry skin. So I went out on a limb and I purchased it and I love it. I think it is such a good product. It's supposed to, it's aimed towards being anti-aging and repairing your skin. So it is an anti-aging product and it's supposed to help with all of that. I can't give you guys a good verdict on if I have seen any differences on anti-aging purposes because I, I'm only 25. <laughs> so I can't tell you as far as that, but as far as the moisturization and the way that it makes your skin feel at night, it's just so great. It's such a creamy product and it moisturizes so well that when I wake up in the morning, my face feels great. And I haven't had that with any moisturizers at night. A lot of times when I wake up in the morning, I feel dry and I feel like I need to over moisturize, which is a bad thing to do when you're gonna wear makeup the next day because then, if, especially if you're oily, because then you're just gonna be very oily and your makeup's gonna slide all over the place. So I'm so happy that I found this product. I recommend it 110%. But if you can get a sample of this somewhere or if you wanna go out and, on a limb and buy it like I did, I recommend using it because I do use this every single night and I've had it for two or three months now and it's still going strong. So this has been my favorite moisturizer of all time for the night. Once I do that, I go in with an eye cream. I'm not big on eye creams either because I don't feel like I need them, but like I said, since it's been recommended to me to start at this age, I went ahead and invested in the in this product, and this is by Tarte, and it is the Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. It just comes in a cute little tub like this, and I do like this product. It leaves a nice, like, dewy shine on your eyes, so I do like to apply this. It feels good on the skin. It's soft. It's moisturizing. Now... Every other night or on nights where I know that I won't be wearing makeup the next day and I want extreme moisture in my skin throughout the night and then the next morning, I go in with this oil. Now this is another product by Tarte. This is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. Now I love this oil by itself without pairing it with anything else. I just think it's great. It's hydrating. It's silky. It feels good on the skin and it's a really good product. 
I hope I'm not confusing you guys by telling you guys that I'm very oily and then I'm throwing all these crazy moisturizing products in this video. I'm just sharing with you what I've been using and what has been working for me. So with oils, oils actually combat oils. So when you put an oil on your face, it kind of tells the molecules in your face that you have produced enough oil and to stop making oil. So oil is actually a good thing to use when you are oily. When my skin craves extra moisture, I do apply this as well with the NARS Lipid Support Cream and together they are just amazing. My skin feels so good. I only do that on nights where I know that I'm not going to wear makeup the next day because the next day my face has so much moisture that I don't really need to be applying anything else on top. So I do love this product as well. Let's move on to the lips. Now I talked about in my favorites video the Bite Agave lip mask that I did not like. I compared it somewhat to the Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is in the scent Cocoa Butter and this is what it looks like. This is like five or six dollars at the drugstore and basically in that video I just said that I personally think that that mask by Bite Beauty is not worth the money. If you have the money go buy the, I mean I don't know why I'm doing that because you're not going to see it, but if you have the money to spend on that product, then by all means, go out and spend the money. But I find that this works just as good. It smells good. It feels good. It's moisturizing. It's affordable. So I, I use this every single night and every single morning. And it is just so great. It's one of my all-time favorite lip moisturizers. So that is part of my nighttime skincare routine as well. I want to talk about two sort of treatments or mask or things that you don't do on a daily basis. I want to talk first about this deep action pore cleansing strips. Now these are from Rite Aid and they are just the generic brand. I have used the Biore strips and all the other strips that brands make and they're the same thing. So if you can save a couple of dollars by buying generic, why not? I got the ones for the nose and all you do is pat some water on the area you want to apply this strip. You peel it off of the um, little plastic it is on and you place it on your nose <coughs> the strip dries to kind of like a hard texture it gets really hard and you just leave it on your nose for five to ten minutes you pull that bad boy off if you look at that this is gonna sound really bad but every time I look at mine I just think of like a skyline of buildings on the strip like it pulls everything out of your pores you can see everything on that strip and it is just such a good feeling to like see that even though it sounds gross it's just such a good feeling to see all that gunk come out of your nose and I recommend trying those because they're so good for cleaning out I go in about once a week with this product if my skin is feeling really bad then I will just toss it in there whenever I feel like I need to so I do like using these the mask that I have been enjoying for a few months now is by Dead Sea, I believe is the brand, and it looks like this. <coughs> I got this at Marshall's, and it was like $6. They have tons of Dead Sea products there. I don't know where you can buy this other than that because I, I haven't looked. I just typically go to Marshall's, and I find products there that I like and I want to try. So this treatment has, al it's an aloe vera exfoliating mud mask, and it just looks like a legit mud mask. I mean, nothing special. Like I said, I've been using this for months, and it, I mean, for the size of the thing, I haven't even really put a dent in it. But this just feels so good on your skin. It feels like it tingles a little bit, and it just feels like it's doing some good stuff. So I have been enjoying using this once a week, or every other week, or whenever I feel like using it. And I really do enjoy it, and it was inexpensive, and it's a good product. So that is everything that I use on my skin at night. <coughs> If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Or if you have any recommendations on serums or other moisturizers that you think I should try out, please leave them in the comments below as well. I will have an inserted demo at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys want to see a skincare video on the products that I use during the day, then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know. That way I can have that filmed for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that I kind of just gave you a overview of the products that I use. I hope I wasn't rambling and I hope that you enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. 
Okay, so the first thing I do is go in with my Equate cleansing towelettes that I mentioned in the video. I use these to wipe off the majority of my makeup, including foundation, blush, bronzer, highlight, and my eyebrows. I forgot to mention this in the video, but I do use an eye makeup remover, and the one I use is by MAC, and it is just called Gently Off Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I put this on a cotton pad, and I just gently remove the eye makeup from my eyes. Once I have done that, I go in with my Clarisonic. So I will just be placing a little bit of my purity cleanser on my Clarisonic and run that underwater. Then I wash my face. This machine actually has like a timer where you can use in separate sections of your face, but I don't always follow that. I kind of just run the brush wherever I want because that's just how I like to do it. So you can do whatever you like, but it gets off a lot of extra makeup as you can tell. Next, I go in with a dry paper towel. I like to use this as opposed to towels that you keep in your bathroom because it is free from any bacteria that's just floating around. Once I have done that, I go in with the toner I mentioned and then I place my night cream on my face. I skipped the serum because like I showed you, I'm all out of my serum. So for tonight, I just went ahead and placed my NARS lotion all over my face. Then I went in with my Tarte eye cream pat that underneath my eye area and my eyelids then i go in with my lip butter that i talked about i love this lip butter it's so moisturizing and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye